somber start to an already difficult day. <coughs> Connecticut brothers and sisters in blue riding together to lay New Haven officer Joshua Castellano to rest. I mean, when people are killed anyway, it's just a sad thing, but it's closer to us when it's law enforcement because we are a complete brotherhood. The support for the New Haven Police Department can be seen from across Connecticut in this motorcade alone. We have departments including Stamford, Waterbury, Hamden and Hartford all coming to an occasion they say they don't like, but they know they have to stand strong. It really doesn't matter. You're, you're just um, it doesn't matter what part of the state or the country you're from. We're all just, you know, out there putting our lives on the line every day. And when someone loses it due to tragic circumstances, whether it's in the line of duty or off duty, they're, they're still an officer and we're here to support that. Officer Kristen Fitzgerald worked for the New Haven Police Department for two decades. She knows how tough the job really is. I know that their uh, manpower numbers are down and they have to respond to a lot of things and you see a lot more in a career as an inner city officer than you do at a, as a suburban officer. Castellano was on the front lines, serving on the shooting task force as a seven year veteran of the department. His loss painful to those who knew him and those who wish they did. So terrible. You know, it's a young man and, you know, just it's a loss for the community, for his family and, and for, for our community of Blue. In New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.